Robert Griffin III starts the final three games of the year. Mike, I'll start off with you. Did he do enough over those three games to warrant being at least the front runner as a starter going into next season? I mean, among the current three options, yeah. sure. But overall, no, you can't feel comfortable with this guy being your future quarterback, certainly not based off those three games. I mean, the one game he won against Philadelphia, he threw the ball the least. That should tell you right there he's not really that comfortable as a pocket passer yet. Does he have talent? Absolutely. He has ability. He needs fundamentals. He needs time. But those three games alone, no chance. Well, Neil, did he do anything in those three games to make you think, uh, this guy probably has a lead over anyone else who's on the roster currently? No. no. And I would even go a step further. If you did like a blind taste test, right, where you looked at film of him and the other two quarterbacks and some other backups around the league yeah. and didn't know who he was, didn't know his background or anything like that, yeah. I don't think any coach would put him under center because he can't read the field. And when he does, he has one read and then, I don't want to say he panics, but he just, he's not very good at knowing where his receivers are, where he is. He takes sacks, he's run, I mean, it's just, it's an absolute mess. Well, Dan, in, in the final game against the Cowboys, he goes 27 of 41, 336 yards and a touchdown, but two picks, hits, gets hit, fumbles, they score a touchdown. Does that, does that outweigh what he did against the Eagles and make him not the favorite to be the well, starter next year? I don't think what he did year? against the Eagles was that great either. Really. Yeah. I mean, I think, like, if you look at the playoff teams, and Tony Kornheiser made this point yesterday, yeah. the, you would take the quarterback situation for all 12 of those playoff teams over Washington, certainly. Mm -hmm. Even probably Arizona's, where they've got two injured guys. And, <laughs> and they're down to Ryan Lindley. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I think the, the larger point is no one really thinks that this is a good team now in, in virtually any, any facet. And I think maybe... You punt on quarterback and say, whatever, he's he's whatever, but let's get some actual good players, and then we'll figure out. When we have an actual good team, then we'll worry about the quarterback. Because the fact is, over the last seven years, he's the only quarterback that's taken them to the playoffs. Well, when he you can say take a team to the playoffs. What, when you say punt on quarterback, you mean get rid of all the ones in no, the rock? No, no, I'm saying whatever. These three guys all stink, but we'll yeah. let one of them play next year, and we'll get good players around, and we'll, we'll you just have to accept yeah. You're at the bottom. But yeah. you, you have, have the best receivers. He doesn't see them wide open. Like, but, you can have the best receivers out there, the best offensive line. He's not even the seeing... the Redskins don't have, uh, clearly. He's not even yeah. seeing yeah. open wide receivers down there. That's my problem. It's not a question of get him better protection or get him more playmakers. He doesn't even see the ones that he has. I think that's fair. But, I mean, I think also the question is, if you put Aaron Rodgers here, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? You're looking at like a... I think, I think Aaron Rodgers could do a lot better with Pierre Garçon, Deshaun Jackson, and, and somebody else... Jordan Wait, Reed, maybe. Jordan yeah, Reed or yeah, somebody, yeah. then RG3 Sure, can but is this like a championship guys. team with Aaron Rodgers? I mean, I, no, I think it's not even close. Right, so that's why I say worry about everything else first. Yeah. Then if you've that's got an actual good team, there's a lot to worry about. Yeah, I mean, exactly, it's going to take a lot of years lot before this about. team gets even to the point that they can entertain the playoffs passing is more important now than it's ever had been. I would say it's even more important now than it was when he took them to the playoffs two years ago. I don't even think that style would work right now. I just think that it's you got to start from scratch.